The Business Review brings you top financial news developments, influencing financial markets, international currencies, commodities, global commerce, tourism, and the other economic events from around the globe. UK's Finance Minister Rishi Sunak said that Britain will borrow almost £400 billion this year to pay for the massive coronavirus hit to its economy as the budget deficit jumps to its highest since World War II. Sunak said as he announced a one-year spending plan that the world's sixth biggest economy is now set to shrink by 11.3% in 2020, its biggest contraction since the early 70s before growing by 5.5% in 2021. Announcing the latest forecasts from the Office for Budget Responsibility, or OBR, Sunak said public borrowing would be £394 billion in the 2020 through 2021 financial year that began in April, that was equivalent to 19% of gross domestic product the highest ever during peacetime and almost double its level after the global financial crisis, which took nearly a decade of unpopular spending cuts to work down. In the 2019 through 2020 year, which ended as the country began to be hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, borrowing was just over £56 billion, or 2.5% of GDP. Britain's economy has been hit harder by the coronavirus pandemic than those of many other rich nations. Nearly 56,000 Britons have died from COVID-19, the highest death toll in Europe. The OBR said the economy was only likely to regain its pre-crisis size at the end of 2022. Sunak has rushed out emergency spending and tax cuts to offset the crisis, including a recent extension of the government's centrepiece jobs protection scheme. Sunak said the cost of the fight against coronavirus was now £280 billion this year, up from a previous estimate of about £200 billion. He has previously said that now is not the time to start reining and borrowing sharply, with the economy likely to shrink again in the fourth quarter of 2020 after the latest coronavirus restrictions on businesses. Over this year and next, day-to-day -day spending will rise in real terms by 3.8%, the fastest growth rate in 15 years, Sunak said, adding that £100 billion would be spent next year on longer-term investment. £27 more than last year. But he signalled early moves to offset at least some of his spending by announcing a freeze on pay for most public sector workers, except doctors, nurses and other health staff. He also announced a reduction in Britain's foreign aid budget, reducing its current spending level of 0.7% of GDP to 0.5%, for 2021. Britain is also facing the risk of a trade shock in less than six weeks' time, when its post-Brexit transition deal is due to expire. No new trade agreement has yet been reached with the European Union.